worry if you're new to resin figures, we got you covered. In this episode, it is, if you're afraid to buy it, I will buy it. But exactly which studios are worth buying from? Well, if you haven't checked out my video on Android 18, she's really from Hero Belief and Hunter Fan Studio. So which studio is better, Hero Belief or Hunter Fan? Today, we'll take a dive on what Hero Belief Studio can bring us. Makima! Of course it's Makima. We really have to get the most luxurious version, the deluxe version, the most expensive one. So the unbox is really hit and miss, but why bother? I don't think I have enough space to keep this box. I swear I can put myself inside and pass off as a one-on-one -on -one with ultra realistic figure. No, I don't think anyone wants that. Okay, but really, this art box is too fragile. Not even worth collecting. Wait, this comes with an instruction sheet. Perfect. So for this week's dive into Hero Belief Studio, I'm gonna do an unboxing and a visual review. You decide if the figure is good. Let me know in the comments. I'm good with suggestions. And of course, in the past, I would last after really nice Velcros. Damn, <laughs> I can't even leave this up. But this Velcro, you can make it yourself, really. Really, everything is basic in this box. But please have faith, my faith meter is this high. Well, this costs almost 700 USD for me after shipping. And yes, this is phenomenal. Just looking at the two trays alone is giving me a filming nightmare. I don't like dioramas, but this one, not too bad. If you check this out, you can see the naked body is wrapped with a cloth. I think this has got to do with the recent Chinese restrictions. Right, so if you don't know what's going on, well, China is clamping down on NSFW figures. So if you're busted, you might get your figures open or destroyed or something. So do check out if your retailers. If they're good, I guess it's good to buy. Well, love the base. I believe this is going to give us a nightmare. A ginormous nightmare. Really loving the effects. Blood is everywhere. B really befitting of a chainsaw man diorama. Details wise, I think Hero Belief is doing really well. The cross is really detailed. In fact, the whole diorama is. What really blew my mind is this first character we're getting. It already looks like a full figure. Judging from the bangs, this is definitely. Well, let's 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 play a game. Yep. So. I'll show you the torso and you let me know which figure it is. I mean, no, you're not gonna let me know. I'll show you the torso and you guess which character it is. Right, so, judging from the banks, this is definitely power. Yep, power, without the haunt. I mean, what in the pepperoni pizza is this? Another body. The clothing details here are amazing. And I really like the blood splattering on this. Let's guess this. Alright, if you guess Hayakawa Aki, you're right. I didn't even expect to get Paro and Aki by buying Makima. Really? EK Man face. Oh, you got to love the artistic direction on this one. I think that's fantastic. I don't really think Hero Belief Studio makes such big statues. So, this is really one crazy release. Reze. That's called Reze. I mean, I heard people calling it Reese, but if you check out the katakana, it's Reze, the bomb devil. I guess seeing this should get you pumped up to catch this manga. Reze is looking hot in this one. I can't believe that she's in undergarments. And I believe this is the last character. I don't know how many torsos I'm discovering in this release. Holy guacamole! And if you can guess it, we have Chainsaw Man himself. Danji! Well, that's four side characters in total. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yep, four side characters in total. And how crazy is this? And at this point, if you're still asking me if Hero Belief is a good studio, then come on, this Danji head is probably one of the best statues out there. I'm gonna add some installation instructions in case you bought this and you don't know where to place some of the chains because it can be so complicated. Installing the chains and watching power with wings, my heart is already fluttering. Some of the chains are PU material and the other wobbly chains are metal. If you haven't fallen in love with this statue already, then please educate me. I'd love to know why. And with this release, we got two dead portraits. Just look at the subtle shading with the texture. I'm sold, man. 
Anything hero believe you can just purchase with confidence. I hope so. I'm not giving you my word on it, but I took the risk first, so you're next. Well, now to the main figure, the clothes are done pretty well, just the texture on the pants is probably excessive, but necessary to make the clothes look so posh. Now I don't even think I have space for this, maybe till me next week and I'll show you where Makima goes. Oh man, I really don't know when this unboxing will end, because we still have a cape. Smoothly textured and don't be stupid like me, I brush the coat past the shirt and stain it. It comes with an anime hit sculpt and a realistic one. Really, the paint and the sculpt is top notch, except for the eyes. If you noticed earlier, I got a defective set. It's supposed to come with a realistic head. So really, if you're like me and you gotta blot your orders, please look for a reliable retailer and I guess he will change the head for you. I'm not liking the anime head, but once the real head comes in, I'll make an update. I will love to give a verdict right now, but we're not at the end of the unboxing so please stay tuned there is a naked body but for the channel's longevity i'm not gonna show you any nudity if you love extra videos or pictures please comment and i'll send them over to you really if customers are priority i think at 700 usd this has already over delivered the paint job really reflects the correct texture and color. I mean, you get four extra characters and I don't even think they cut corners for all the four characters. What more would you ask for in details? But the bad part of the statue is the dual head sculpts really borrow the same head and hair. The extra swappable figure is probably in the same pose. Pretty uninteresting, but still 10 out of 10. Well, check out the Android review, you'll be blown away too. If you like today's unboxing with Rice Bucket, please help us out by hitting the like and subscribe button to be notified when a new video comes out. The channel would be nothing without you guys and I'd like to say a big thank you. And maybe don't buy too many figures. My place is getting creepier each day. <laughs> Goodbye, I'll see you soon.